Okay, so let's take a look at how you can use particle emitter in GDevelop. So first thing, make sure to download GDevelop app and open that. Make sure to create one demo project from scratch. Okay, so here you see I don't have any objects added to my main scene. So when I run this, it should only show me the background of my choice. Now first thing, I want to add a background. Let's go with tile sprite. Let's add new image. Okay, I'm going to add parallax image here. Give it a name as background. Click on apply and then drop this tile on screen and then expand. Okay. Now notice that I may have to adjust its height as per my option. Now next thing would be to check this. Okay, now we got our background right. Now what we will do is we will add particle emitter to show some sort of uh, say spirits from the bottom of forest or from the top of this uh, tree. So let's add new object. Click on this plus icon. Now go for particle emitter. Now here you can choose the color something like reddish to particles and color as white. Right, that should generate pretty good color. Now maximum number of particles you should increase that to let's say 600. Flow of particles you can increase to 75. You can edit other properties and test it out. Okay, so we will apply and then we will drop these particles. You can also adjust its direction here. Okay, let me wait. Right here you can change its direction from bottom to let's say top. Right? Save this and then run your project. And here you can see it is showing constant change in color from this red to white can change it to an, any other color and also change the placement to make it more lively. Okay, so we'll do that. I'll edit this. Let's change this to yellow. Right. Okay, so make it 50 start size right also let's see its position let's change it to somewhere here so that it looks good save it and run it okay right so you can adjust the position of that particle emitter based on your background okay so if there is any fire you can use this particle emitter nearby it okay you can also make different effects out of it like if you can want to make some effect for let's say some leaf dropping from the top or if you want to make it look like some wind is going on you can make those effect by experimenting through this particle emit emitter properties okay so here you can see you can choose from line point or texture you can check check with that particular 
line okay here you can see extremely small but it looks good so we'll experiment with that okay so you can see line length go with 10 if you want the more line thickness you can go with 5 right now here we can click on apply and test it out see it looks a lot better if you have any specific background graphics that can go along with this that would be even better so if you're trying parallax background along with effects something like this in the background or in the front that would be good okay so there is one more option to check we check point line and texture so let's go with the texture but for that we need image so we'll skip that okay so you get the idea how to use particle emitter for point and line in g -Develop.